Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn about vernier scale. A vernier scale is used to represent three consecutive units, that is, a unit and its immediate two subdivisions. A vernier scale is used to measure three consecutive units of a metric system. Whereas, in diagonal scale, we were having British and metric system. It is same as diagonal scale. The level of accuracy of vernier scale and diagonal scale are same. Compared to plane scale, the level, level of accuracy is much better in vernier scale. Now, we know about a metric system. But just for the revision, I am just showing you metric system. One kilometer equals to ten hectometer, and one hectometer equals to ten decameter. One decameter equals to ten meters. One meter equals to ten decimeter. One decimeter equals to ten centimeters, and one centimeter equals to one millimeter. It is all intense. That means that's your metric system. Unit ten hundred thousand. As so on, that is your metric system. Now, the part of question. The first problem we are having is consider the vernier scale when 1.5 centimeters on the scale represents 1.2 meters actual length. So this is your length in the drawing. This is your actual length. So read up to 16 meters. Also, so this 16 is your maximum length. 16 is your maximum length. Also show on the scale the distance of 12.65 meters and 8.37 meters. So the steps are as same as diagonal and plane scale. First we calculate the RF. RF equals to 1.5 centimeters by 1.2 meters. We will convert 1.2 meters in centimeters. So 1.2 into 100. So the RF is 1 by 80. Now length of the scale 1 by 80. That's your RF into 16. 16 is your maximum length 16 meters into 100. I'm converting this meters into centimeters. After the conversion ls equals to 20 centimeters now we have to after that in one year scale now we can check we have to mark 12.65 and 8.37 meters on the scale now in this the calculation part is a little bit interesting now we have to mark a distance of 12.65 meters and 8.37 meters on it first 12.65 take the last digit means this that's your 5 and multiply it with 11 that will be 55 5 11s are 55 after that subtract it with 12.65 12.65 minus 0 0.55 55 equals to 12.1 now 12.1 is your main scale reading and 55 is your vernier scale reading so why are we multiplying it with 11 because it's the 11th part of the vernier scale so we are subtracting that with a with 11 this is all for the vernier scale in next video we are going to learn how to construct a vernier scale of this problem in autocad thanks for watching